I just love the freedom that Photo P gives to us to play around with different shapes and sizes and texture. This project we're doing today, we're playing around with different shapes on Photo P to come up with a Fabige egg logo that is going to give you different ideas that you could use to be creating amazing logo designs for your customers. Please join me on this tutorial. I can't wait to show you the fun that I've had with this logo. We're going to be doing a Fabige egg today. Don't know if I'm pronouncing it correctly, but I sketched a drawing. I'm going to click and drag the sketch to our canvas and I'm going to reduce the opacity for the sketch a little bit and then I'm going to lock it and then add a layer so that I can start designing. So we are going to be using our shapes. We're going to select the ellipse shape. We're going to select the fill and take off the fill and our stroke we're going to make that a nice golden stroke and then we're going to make it a 10 point and with our ellipse tool we're going to create a circle so you click and you drag a circle use your v so you can move that circle nicely along and then you're going to select your direct select tool to help you with the point so that you can click and drag and make the egg shape for your fabige egg nicely done then you're going to lock this layer then we're going to go back to our move tool take off the transform and click x outside then we're going to go back to our shapes and we're going to select the line shape we want to have the fill on our line shape and we're going to increase our size then we start drawing our lines all the way on our Fabige egg. Next, I'm gonna group every layer and I'm gonna rasterize it. Then I'm gonna control G to group it into a folder. Then I will lock it. I want to then create the nice diamond shapes on my Fabige egg. Therefore, I'm going to go to my shapes and I'm going to select an ellipse. Then I'm going to change the color of the fill and make that like a silver. And then I will zoom in and start creating those gorgeous diamond shapes on, on all of these intersections that I have here. I'm going to just duplicate that shape or the layer and then add it everywhere where there's a intersection and i miss the old you we died with the purpose of the energy around me felt nervous scared i would pop off fast then i'm going to rasterize my shapes and then i'm going to group them and i'm going to lock them last thing that i would do is to add text i'm going to select my type tool and i'm going to be using the goldman font for gold logo that we're busy with and i want to make the size a little bit big you can make that big if you want to maybe 350 nice and lastly i'm gonna add the name of the business and the tagline and there we go i'm gonna highlight everything rasterize it i'm gonna go export this as a png it's already on transparent background and i'm going to convert it to a 3d logo and we'll see how it looks like you're gonna go to your PSD templates. You're gonna select mockups, and I love this logo, Office Mockup. You click on photop.com. Once it loads, you're gonna double click where it says your logo here. You hide the example that we've been given. You click and you drag your design, you size it, and you align it. You command S to convert it to smart object and then you select your first tab where it says your logo mockup and there's your beautiful Fabige egg logo that you've created. You could do so much with the tools that Photo P offers. This is just one example of practicing and playing around with the tools that Photo P gives to you to come up with beautiful designs that you could use and you could share with your customers. 
I hope you really enjoyed this tutorial. I truly enjoyed playing around with it and coming up with the concept. We do have a course for Canva logo designers. The link is on my description below. I will see you on the next video.